Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. I'm Taylor. We're gonna be checking out what, my dear? Theo Vaughn old school dating. Cool, cool. You guys, a lot of you guys have asked for more Theo Vaughn. You guys asked for the strawberry one, the um this is not happening. But we've done some this is not happening before that were blocked like worldwide when we tried to upload it, trying to react to it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give it a shot, but it's probably gonna get blocked. That's all we've been kinda holding off on it. We haven't been ignoring you guys asking about it. Mm -hmm. But we we've asked for this one too, so we're gonna go ahead and do this one. Old some of you guys are, but like maybe like the 1800s or whatever, you know? Like back then, you just walked out of your house if you were a man, hundreds of miles if you had to, till you saw any woman and you just started walking back with her. <laughs> She's like, Where are we going? You're like, To the rest of your life. And that was a relationship. And if she got out of line, you took her on a warning hike. <laughs> and I'm not saying it was perfect, I'm just saying that it worked. And the man went out in the world and did the world work. And the woman stayed at home and took care of the family work. And I don't think it was ideal for anybody, but the, the kids were fat and the cat was fed. And you got home from work and your wife was standing there with the mail. And she's like, tell me what the mail says. <laughs> and I'm not saying it was perfect. I'm just saying that it worked. And then women started wanting to do everything. We want to chew gum. Uh, we want to wear hats. We want to drive big rigs. We want to crossfit. <laughs> Crossfitting? What the fuck are y'all doing? Y'all are doing chin-ups in an abandoned shed all morning? We're fucking starving at the house. <laughs> Our boy can't read. <laughs> and you're worried about muscle density? When I married you, you had an ass. Now you got glutes? What are glutes? <laughs> Don't make that thing any harder for daddy to get into. <laughs> and now they have a hundred machines at the gym for women, man. And now y'all probably feel obligated to use them all. When I was young, they had four machines at the gym for ladies, and three of them were stoves. He's <laughs> like, I'm gonna do chest and tries. Why don't you do that manicotti that we love? <laughs> and I'm not saying it was perfect. I'm just saying that it worked. Because <laughs> here's what I really believe, ladies. A lot of marriages, a lot of relationships don't work anymore because opposites attract. And for some reason, ladies feel like they have to do everything. You know, it's got to feel like a ton of pressure. But if y'all are doing all the women's stuff and the men's stuff, what the fuck are we supposed to do? I have on facial moisturizer right now, okay? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> then you got women doing deadlifts all day, wondering why they don't have a boyfriend. Because you're it. <laughs> I don't want to hug a woman and come in second. <laughs> you got to be the lady. Put down the barbells, pick up some flowers, look lost. You'll have a boyfriend in five minutes. <laughs> pick up some flowers, look lost. <laughs> that was a great line. That was a great line. <laughs> Oh man, everybody likes a damsel in distress. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh, that makes me mad with your friend you were talking about, Misty. She oh, keeps uh, complaining about she don't have a boyfriend. Yeah. Missy keeps complaining about she a boyfriend, but she's like getting super ripped. She's like real buff now, yeah. like way more than when I used to work. Oh with man, her. The, the last picture you showed me, like, man, she is ripped. She's huge. Not cute. And then she'd be like, guys don't like me. And, like, she would kind of make, like, weird jabs at me because I'm chunky. Yeah. And I had, we were, you know, dating at that point already. I'm like, because I don't present myself as if I'm a man, like you do, and your boobs have turned into straight muscle. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, don't get me wrong, like, a fit, you can, a, you can be fit and cute. That's not, yeah, I'm not that's saying that. Good, you know? She was, she was She ripped. was, like, jacked. Like, she was, like, jacked. She yeah. looked like a guy. Her, her, like, I remember the picture you showed me before. You know, like women used to have like softer, like like a little more like a, like that's a what would say face, softer yeah. face and more like a like a like a arrow like chin and stuff like that. Yeah, it's weird that your chin can change. Like she had like a stronger jawline. Yeah. She had like a muscular jawline. It just was like, I, I know some guys probably like that. I'm not trying and to knock fine, what you like, yeah. but like that is gonna really kind of play down the guys the, the who's yeah. gonna be attracted to you. You're most likely gonna find a guy that's just as into that. Yeah, you know. So it's like I said, I was like, don't guys at the gym like that? Like, do you try to flirt with them? You know, I don't know. But she was kind of like rude about it. Like she would make like weird jabs at like me and this other girl who was a little bit chunky. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Why y'all got a man and I don't? She's like, well, you had a boyfriend. I'm like, okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> 
I'm like, yeah. well, I don't act like a dude. But a lot of people do, like, um, like you said, they kind of feel like they have to be, like, a man and a woman at the same time. Yeah. Like, I think that that's what he said, like, opposites do attract. That does kind yeah. of make sense because, like, there's nothing wrong with, like, working and stuff. Like, that's, I don't think that's what he means. But, yeah. like, you know, like, you have, like, a more high pay, higher paying job than I do. But yeah. I always, like, clean house and cook and do laundry and yeah more women stuff normally because it's like you do that and i appreciate it so i show my appreciation by like cooking and stuff you know yeah and it's, it's, it's always like a balance like um mm-hmm. i had a buddy who was um he wasn't working for a while because he was pursuing his education and his wife did the work and he did that like he kind of did the balance of like if she's at work working 45 hours and stuff like that and that means of course he has to pick up the balance if he's not working like at home like doing like dishes cleaning picking up the kids from school stuff like that so sometimes the roles can be reversed and there's absolutely nothing yeah. wrong with that like it's, that's not an issue but it's like it's always gotta be like a balance it's not that taylor needs to cook and clean and all that kind of jazz it's just that i'm usually work I, I work more yeah. I'm, all, I'm out of the house a lot and then also when i do try to cook she hates my cooking so it don't really help either um or when i do laundry she don't like the way i do laundry I do. Because I really hate the way, the way I hate I do the way too. you do laundry. But it's like when I'm like, there's been times where he's had a, like a week of vacation, and I'll be still at work. You'll like, you know, do stuff. Do I do laundry, clean You'll the house, do laundry, that kind of stuff. Up, I gotta or, stay busy. Yeah, like yeah. you're not just the guy to just sit there and zone out for yeah. like five days watching TV. So you'll do that, or you might run to the grocery store and buy groceries, stuff like yeah. that. So it's not. I don't mean like a woman has to do that, but. But no, I definitely, I, I definitely get what he says because um, yeah. a lot of guys they need to feel like they're necessary, and I think the same thing for women too. Women have to feel like they're, they're necessary. They don't want to feel replaceable, and I think that's probably like the point he was like getting. It still is a joke. I don't want to dig too far into yeah. it. Yeah, but he's right. That's that's, that's really funny because yeah. I think a lot a lot of people in the audience like and it's like they're laughing at certain parts. That I thought were pretty funny. Like it was pretty quiet mm-hmm. compared to like a lot of comedy shows. Like you heard some snickering, but people weren't laughing as hard as I think they should have based on like something right. they're saying. Right, like you probably get like, offended. Like they're like yeah, so. Cause and then sometimes like you said sometimes like um, I mean like people upset and all that kind of stuff. Some women become their way out of necessity though too. Right, like, like because of like a, if... a guy's not doing they they stop trusting guys because they've relied on men before and the men let them down so they became their way because of it. Right, and that does happen and you know obviously that sucks but yeah. um, like some people I know that are in just like a regular relationship like they're doing too much. Yeah, I'm like you need to chill. You don't need to work at, like, a factory. He's working at a factory. You know what I mean? Like, Don't be mad because she wants to work at a factory. That's messed up. You know what I'm saying. Like, would you want to be working at, like, a hard mill job and you come home all dirty and so does your wife? Like, I won't mind that. And there's no dinner or nothing. We'll and go, then after we'll, you're tired. We'll, we'll both stop at the rallies together. You know what I'm saying. Okay. No, I, I already know what you're saying. It's got to be some balance because that's what, um... I already know what you're saying because I have, I have like what do you call it? like you can both be career driven. Right, that's, that's nothing wrong being career yeah. driven. That's 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 not a problem. I've seen people who had who like I, I know people who have like their wife makes the same amount of money as them. They do yeah. about the same amount of work. But what happens is that extra income usually goes to like childcare and stuff like that because there's not room for anybody to be more of the homemaker kind of thing. Right, it's yeah. Because it's not they're both wore out, um, which sucks. But you like I said, but you bring you're bringing in more income. Sometimes it has to take those two people to bring, like, the right. have, like, a six-figure household and stuff, so. Yeah. It can't just be one person sometimes. So, I get it, having a kid and all that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, and I think, like, that's the thing. It's, like, I think you get some people that they don't want to contribute at all yeah. in the relationship or they're doing a whole lot extra. I find more it's, like, not wanting to contribute at all because I know people that work at my job and they don't buy anything for their house with their paycheck. Yeah. They just, like, spend it on clothes and junk and makeup and stuff and they don't like contribute like so they're just like you that gotcha. is absolutely we're, gonna we're end, done we're gonna end this because that's not true it's a don't joke. Seem like i don't help <laughs> that's me because i pay i'm like, joking I pay it's a joke a lot, it's a so joke you little dork oh my goodness oh man but yeah that was a really good skit it was very very funny guys mm-hmm. thank you very much for recommending more of him please continue like share and subscribe and comment below and we'll see you in the next one later